Constitutional Conversations is a series of discussions by America's leading scholars about the principles, framing, ratification, and implementation of constitutional government in the United States. This series is hosted by the James Madison Memorial Fellowship Foundation of Alexandria, Virginia. It's hard to single out who was the single most important person in the ratification debate. There, there are a half dozen that could be pointed out, but uh, obviously George Washington must be high uh, in, in that list. Uh, it's a little strange to say that because Washington tried to stay out of the ratification debate. He did not stand for election to the state ratifying convention, much to the dismay of Federalists. They felt that that cost maybe 10 or 20 votes uh, in that convention by not having, having him as, as a delegate. Uh, but uh, he, as president of the Constitutional Convention, uh, signed a letter that covered the Constitution and explained what the Constitutional Convention did. Whenever the Constitution was published, that letter was published with it, with George Washington's signature that he endorsed the Constitution. And so it was also felt that he was the natural person to be elected the first president under, under the Constitution. And it was felt that he would do a good job. He would not endanger the rights of people. So Washington was probably a, a key figure. If you can look at others, uh, John Hancock and the ratification in Ma Massachusetts was critical. If Massachusetts didn't ratify, perhaps the whole process would, would fail. And it was Hancock who came to the fore there. In New York, to get New York ratified, you needed an anti-Federalist, a man by the name of Melanchthon Smith. So for a period of maybe about four weeks, he was perhaps the most important man in the country because he got the anti-Federalists, which were two-thirds of the New York Convention, to agree, enough of them to agree, that they would ratify the Constitution. Other uh, uh, candidates for being the most important figure would be James Madison and Alexander Hamilton, important in both of their states, important in the Constitutional Convention in getting the, the convention ratified, important in writing the Federalist Papers, which, although not as important at the time as they became, were still of, of major consequence. And both of those men played critical roles in their state ratifying conventions. So there's, there's a handful of individuals that can be pointed out as being very, very important. But I think I'll stick with George Washington as the most important figure. Constitutional Conversations is made possible by a generous grant from the Fairley S. Dickinson Jr. Foundation. Constitutional Conversations is made possible by the James Madison Education Fund.